Joe and Mary Catherine Domaleski, also known as MC, have been profoundly involved in improving the lifestyle and fitness of others at New Hope and in the local community for years. MC is a lifelong Fayetteville girl and Joe is originally from Stone Mountain, Georgia. After serving as an infantry officer in the Army during Operation Desert Storm, Joe settled back into Atlanta to sell insurance for Mass Mutual while attending grad school at Georgia State. While there, he kept getting asked for PC computer help from a young, blonde-haired, blue-eyed Mary Catherine. One thing led to another, they fell in love, and then married in 1994, having three children, Alex, Tori, and Stephen. Initially, both Joe and Mary Catherine struggled maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Joe got bitten by the fitness bug first. He is a two-time sub 11-hour Ironman, a distinction he wouldn't have imagined years ago. There was a time when he would walk the Peachtree Road Race instead of running it. He finished a triathlon, but was second to last. Joe decided it was time to take action. With a serious workout regimen and better eating habits, the excess weight started coming off and his running began to improve. After losing 25 pounds, he finished the Atlanta Marathon in four hours, 56 minutes and 18 seconds while fighting a 101 degree fever. He then ran the Disney Marathon and finished three hours, 37 minutes and 12 seconds and eventually qualified for the prestigious Boston Marathon. He eventually ran several sub three hour marathons. When Joe had his sight on the Ironman and in training for other triathlons, he had lost 45 pounds. He was runner-up for Atlanta Sports and Fitness Magazine Athlete of the Year in 2002, Metro Atlanta YMCA Volunteer of the Year, and a multiple age group winner at local road races and triathlons. Mary Catherine's story is similar and was reinforced by the unexpected death of her mother, George Ann Mercer a longtime New Hope member and choir member whom many of you may remember. George Ann struggled with her health and died at the age of 58 from a heart attack. She's buried across the street in the New Hope Cemetery. Inspired to make a change, MC joined a gym and committed to a fitness routine, realizing she had to change her lifestyle completely. This progress led MC to begin teaching strength and cycle classes. There was a period of time that Mary Catherine shed 80 pounds. She said setting goals helped her push herself. I just wanted to feel better about myself. It took her five years and she encouraged others to find out what exercise routine you enjoy and stick to it. MC's credentials include Aerobics and Fitness Association of America, personal trainer and fitness counselor, to name a few. She was a Fayette Woman magazine cover girl and fitness columnist for the magazine. One of the most important outcomes of Joe's commitment to fitness was a direct encounter with the Lord while training for the 1999 Ironman. Inspired by his mother-in-law's death, Mary Catherine's good example and rigors of training, he was led to Christ by Richie DeZio and baptized by Hall of Famer Hugh Kirby down at Stars Mill in September 1999, two months before his first Ironman. Joe's salvation would play an important role 10 years later when hard times set in. Joe and Mary Catherine spent the next 10 years raising a family, teaching fitness classes at the gym, and here at New Hope with the popular Lose It For Life program. Joe also started a company so he could spend more time with his family. But in 2009, the recession hit, and like for many, times got hard for the Domaleski family. Even while serving as the Chamber of Commerce chairman in 2010, Joe's company began to falter, and Mary Catherine had to take on extra work. Their marriage was tested. Joe not only stopped competing and teaching fitness classes, he began to fall into a spiral of bad habits and unhealthy living, almost gaining back all of the weight he had lost 15 years prior. Things came to a head in 2012. Around this time, God put some special people in their life, Don and Lynn Boykin, another Hall of Famer. Joe and Mary Catherine attended the Boykin's marriage class and got inspired. They recommitted to their marriage. That was Lynn's last class as she died shortly after. With their marriage back on track, Joe recommitted to a healthy lifestyle. Inspired at the gym by his wife's instruction and Mr. Olympia and Hall of Famer Lee Haney's great example, Joe lifted weights, began running again, and got back in shape. He was awarded the most improved runner in 2013 by the Peachtree City Running Club. 
faith in the Lord and love for each other, Joe and Mary Catherine's goal is to help others achieve better fitness through coaching, mentoring, and setting the example as role models. They are truly living out Apostle Paul's admonition in 1 Corinthians 9.27 to buffet my body and bring it into bondage, lest by any means after I have preached to others, I myself will be disqualified. Congratulations, Joe and Mary Catherine. You are a winner.